Okay, so we created this terrain, we played a little bit with the atmosphere and you'll notice right here as our camera set, it's set to about um, two thirds. We can play a little bit more with compositions, adjustments, you know, place at mountains, but right here we have a reddish kind of color which attract attention in this part right around. We could play more with the position of the sun, you know, maybe bring close up and creating all of this um, look we can do this way um, actually I this is look not bad so we have a lot of different stuff we can do we can also bring back sun to the side a little bit up so we have it more um, coloring going on this case uh, maybe I did like when sun come on a side it did provide kind of very interesting like right here it did provide a nice um nice look on this side so it's having this kind of glowing effect but okay we'll go on the side a little bit more again same things as we did before bring just a little bit coloring down let's go to atmosphere editor and in atmosphere editor i want to do a couple things one look right here we have a sky color and if you want to make darken, we can take density and bring down. When we bring down density, you can see how it's add this darker, deeper blue kind of look because our atmosphere is low. Okay, let's go back. We also, if you don't want this much yellow kind of, we can do reduce amount of the our decay or reduce by the height of the decay. So it's a level of decay lower. You can see we have it kind of coldish look now okay, let's go back to four or we can also change opacity so if we're going down to 50 it will still spread but it still add a little bit coldish look so I want a little bit cold not too much we could add ground haze and it will go from top to bottom but this is will affect all saturation so you see as we applied we kind of start losing the saturation clearness almost um, again, if we're going zero, we'll have it a very clear, nice look. So I think it's about right where it was before. Same, we can look a little bit more with the ground fog, but it will add like glowing. Right there, you can see color glowing, which is I'm not necessarily like with this. So I, I almost want to take ground fog down. It will create this nice, deeper, a little bit look less glowing on this effect. And if we want to provide from the sun glow because the fog is down, we can increase glowing intensity and take scattering down. And you will see right here in a corner how it start glowing from this effect. Again, not necessarily what I wanted, but just play around. It's what is showing how we can affect of this colorings going around. So we'll bring nine. Okay. And let's see if we reduce yeah, we'll add a little bit more contrast this way and we're going all the way we'll add more kind of element of the haziness okay we'll go back to six so it's kind of playing around i think um, we need to add the clouds which is make look much interesting this way and we'll go to clowns we'll go to load clouds and we'll select the big camelus right now you can see they fill up quite a bit. So I don't necessarily want them. I want to whisper clouds. For this way, I will just take density all the way to 1, opacity to 100. We can have altitude validation uh, variations to 100. And you can see how they can start feeling this soft, almost look for our altitude. And we'll take cover and reduce. So we'll have just a few of them. Okay, this is one way add clouds, but I do like to add more and more clouds. So we left this one, we'll add additional clouds. And again, you can play around, we'll have a threatening front, which is just put it right here on the side, kind of. Again, with these ones, we can play around, we can add details actually more, so it will kind of break them out. And same things, because I like to mix one, 100. So you can see we'll add 
have a little bit more whispering on this. And let's go take cover down as well. And if details is too much, we can smooth them by reducing the amount of details. So it should just smooth them out, but it's add all of these elements. And that's what I like with clouds. When we start adding more and more different clouds, they will create kind of more interesting effect. So in this one, actually, let's go 0 0.1 on a scale. I want to pop up a little bit scale on this. And now we need increase on a cover and increase on the feathering. So just add play with this, see how they will work. Okay, let's go add another layers. You don't necessarily need to stick with a spectral one. We can always go with the stratus type. For example, I can go add alt and you can see on top it will add those kind of clouds. Um, I don't necessarily like them so strong, so we'll take our density and take down density. But it is add those elements. So now we start creating um, interesting complex clouds layers. Okay, let's go one more. We'll go back to spectral. And we'll just go feather clouds. You can try different ones, see which work, and you can see this one actually come very nicely. Um, you know what, let's reduce just slightly on a scale, so we'll have it pop up them right around that area. You can always readjust your clouds. You remember, you can play with altitude, so if we need increased height, we can increase layer of the height, but they all notice how they're going up. Okay, we can reduce it. Okay, I do like increase altitude variation that will add to the top of the mountains, add complexity, kind of more look on this way. Um, also, we can increase a little bit density on this and opacity, make them a little bit darker. Going around that area, so we'll kind of have a nice um, effect applied to them. Okay, we'll have a shadow density. Let's add a little bit more. So the cast on the ground or a shadow. Pop up just a little bit on the density and cover. So this um, sometimes it can take quite a bit of time when you start playing with elements. You just add more and you kind of, uh, maybe I need to play, add more and more other elements. So it is kind of fun effect, but again, it is take a little bit time to play around and see um, which one will work for you and what maybe does not work. Okay, so let's go here, reduce details, a little bit reduce sharpness. And let me just take opacity down, it should be flatten them out, I'm not necessarily like this. So yeah, opacity was 100% and a little bit with a density down. Okay, I think actually density was good before, right here. And I think this is about right where I want to have my clouds, so they still have layers, some complexity going with the clouds around. Um, my first big camelus, once that I did it, we can also increase just a little bit cover on them. So they will help to blend with um, other clouds. That's what we're going to do. Just increase cover and threaten cl clouds. Same, we just increase a little bit on this. Take details down. So it will add a little bit more on the side right here. You can see how they start coming up. And it's just help us to blend with other color. Okay, let's go back to atmosphere in this area and uh, We'll just add a little bit haze and fog, so we'll have it a little bit glowing right around this area. Okay, I'll click OK on this. Remember, save your work as you're going. We'll go to sunlight and just bring a little bit down. This will add a little bit reddish kind of glowing to our cloud. Okay, I think this is nice um, backdrop so far we're done. So let's go back to our render. I will set at least on final. You want to do a little bit higher maybe. And I'm just going to add um, 
1920 just HD resolution. So I'm going to start rendering. This rendering gets may take a little bit time, mostly when we start with atmosphere. So I'm pause the tutorial and we'll come back when the render is completed. Okay, the one thing I forgot to mention actually, and then I stop my render. I want to set a quality boost at least to zero. Otherwise, we will end up with quite a bit grainy clouds. So if you want better, you can go to the one, but that will significantly increase render time. So just be sure there and we can uh, start rendering again. How I said before, I forgot about that um, adjustments. So when we fix, go back to render. Okay, right here we have it, our render image. And again, the clouds, we have it all different. We can add more. You always can add can add more details kind of twinking with your image mostly what i was looking at this for the mountain and right this area on the bottom where we have a textures so this is what my focus kind of was for this tutorial and you can see we have a nice interesting mix of those textures they're going in the mountains again this is a little bit hazy we can work with a little bit removing um some of the haze if you want preview but this is more when we render so you can see kind of natural in a way we do it there also we can do it's going inside um like hdr if you have it tone map it because in photoshop or uh, in uh, sorry view they have you can save as high dynamic range image they can process in photoshop or you can process for example in photomatics pro so what it does it's take all of these elements and you can see bring out so for me if i want pop this texture out more on the mountains right here when I preset and I can go with my lighting settings and if you just not have more tutorials how to do this but overall I can apply to bring some of those textures more up for me the contrast save it and add as additional okay let's go save this image and after I can go in Photoshop and I can show you just add small details to that. So example right here is our image in Photoshop and this one is on top of process it. So all what I need to do is just create. Okay, let's right here select mask, invert it and just use a very soft brush. And just start kind of painting inside little bit to really relieve and some of those elements right here you can see if I want to bring a little bit more textures out and you can see we just add okay you know it does help when you switch to right white color okay right here just add even more to our texture some of that contrast and you can see we can bring even more out in the image we created okay let's do on the sky just a little bit enable right there and we'll just a little bit more so we can see that texture we created. But again, you can see how well we have a distribution with those materials, what we can create it. Again, this has worked very well on the far away kind of mountains, mid plane. Um, on a close up, it does work if we try to simulate some grass or other things and we'll put it ecosystem above. But again, mostly this texturing with materials, texture, multi text, multi layers, texturing, what we did with all these different techniques, it is um, very good to use on a mountain far away landscape and other areas. In order to finish this image, let me just go add color curve to this. So we have some like more cinematic look. And let's go with a little bit of reddish look right there. And here's I'm our image. So thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope it will provide for you some knowledge how to work with textures.